Live export is a global problem and the Awareness Day is a day where countries come together to let world leaders know that we do not and will not accept the live exporting of any animal from any other country or any country. The live export industry in Australia and the Australian Government continually tell us that Australia has the best animal welfare practices of all the countries that live export and that other countries look to Australia's live export industry as leading the way in relation to animal welfare. Government and industry in Australia claims that because we are part of this global industry that this improves the welfare for animals that are live exported from other countries and that if Australia stopped live exporting the animal welfare in other countries would in fact get worse. The government claims it is because of Australia's involvement in live export that this increases welfare for all the animals around the world. Do they really believe their own spin or do they take us for fools? Amazingly, every other country that live exports claims that their industry leads the way with animal welfare. They can't all have the best animal welfare practices in place. The truth is live exporting of any animal is contrary to good animal welfare and no matter how many regulations are put in place, they will not reduce the suffering of millions of animals from other parts of the world and the millions of animals that leave Australian shores each year. We have had enough of this cruel and oppressive trade and tonight we stand together with thousands of activists around the world telling our governments that we have had enough. We will continue to stand in unity until we put an end to this hideous global trade. We live in a time where the exploitation of innocent beings and harming and killing of the most vulnerable for completely unnecessary reasons is the status quo. We live in a time of normalised and institutionalised violence so hidden in plain sight that it is invisible to everyday people. This cannot remain the norm. Live animal export is an abuse of animal rights. It is an abuse of power and it is abuse of our human values. We've all heard the saying that first they ignore you, then they laugh at you, then they fight you and then you win. We've gone through the first two stages and in the last year we have very quickly gone from being laughed at to being fought. Industry and government are scared. They know the truth will lead to changes that they are not yet ready for and they are fighting back. But what may be a distressing time may also be a necessary step to see an end to live export. I truly believe that it is inevitable that this industry will collapse. We may live in a dark time for animals right now, but we also live in a time where there is a growing community of educated and compassionate people willing to come together to protect the innocent. We live in a time where people are willing to stand up and fight for what is right, to collaborate, to educate, to get active and to fight back. Now is not the time to stop doing that. We know this is a long battle. We know that animal liberation isn't going to happen quickly and we know that this is a pain that we feel. Nothing like the animals, but we do. We feel their pain. That's why we're here. We may be too late to help the current victims. We may be too late to help the next round of victims and the victims after that. But one day, there will be no victims to fight for because we will win and we won't stop until we do. Thank you. Live Exports of Sheep by Rex Tyler. Sheep live exports in holds of ships. No feed, no water. We are thrown about thanks to the sea. Bashed, oh how we bleed. No sunshine on our backs no more. Just hold up in this place. Nobody comes to check us out. Of course it's a disgrace. All huddled together, we certainly get the fear, hearing each other's hearts on fire, watching each ensuing tear. 
We all have them for certain, suffering as we do, hearing the expletives from the murdering crew. The turbulence and the restlessness, it's worrying, and we together huddled and befuddled kind of soon agree. No one cares about us. It's an impulsive madcap world. And we are off to the Middle East. Yes, we are being hurled. Into halal land, that's the deal. The contract that was made, throats cut, no one is being stunned. On our souls it's laid, Australia has sold us out. The impressionable, of course, the media will witness what we go through from the source. And many do not make it, just thrown overboard. Fodder for the great whites, will anyone applaud? The shippers and the farmers and the dockers, yeah the lot, who sign off on their contracts, yes, right on the dot. So that's what happens to us. Australia said farewell, shipped us off to the sunshine and the desert, yes, to a hell. To be loaded in the backs of cars or murdered in the street, that's the way we all end up scoffed by the elite. Live exports, cruel and insufferable, and the government says it's fine. Truck down to Fremantle, our lives all on the line. Shipped like bags of cargo, we are alive, you know, unlike the politicians who say yes and let us go. Live exports are an anathema, purgatory on sea, wretchedness and unpleasantness and utter misery. Indisposed and writhing, anxious all the way, wounded and heavy laden and covered in salty spray. Margaret Mead once said, never doubt a small group of thoughtful, committed citizens can change the world. Indeed, it's the only thing that ever has and you're the group and we're going to network and get to know one another and come up with some great ideas later on over dinner. High expectations are the key to everything, Sam Walton said. Uh, dream big, dream big for the animals. Everything you see around you right now, every building, every single thing, it was some uh, you can literally see, uh, never existed before. Whatever you visualise, whatever you think about, will come into reality. You can, you can make your own reality. We can end live export and create a better, kinder and more compassionate world. It's the decisions and commitments that we make uh, and, and what happens in the future. That ability with, is within every single one of us. Now, does anyone know how, what percentage of people are against live export? Yell it out. 86%, that was according to the last RSPCA poll. Some of the other newspaper polls are saying lesser amounts such as 80, 81, 82%. So how can we mobilise that 86%, many of whom are Liberal voters? Poll after poll says the majority of people want this trade to end. The government is relying on complacency. So that's a question we need to think about today and I want everyone to think about that. None of us are as smart as all of us and what we think about we can bring about. So the fact that we've got a lot of people here with a lot of ideas, it will be good to get into groups and think about what we can do to change this situation because it can be done. I have no doubt that Animals Australia will expose further suffering and more deaths on these live export ships in the coming months and it's going to happen again and again. We're all sick and we've had enough. But whatever we're doing, it's not enough. The reporting by the ABC has become routine. I've stood up before and what I'm saying is routine. Rick's been here before since 2011, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. It cannot be this easy for these live exporters and transporters to continue this 
barbaric trade. The trade does not capture the heartache, the anger, the sadness that each of us feel. And as we watch again and again in horror, more and more animals die painful deaths. And they are, and these animals are relying on us to act with authenticity and we will step up to that challenge. And it's fair to say that anybody who engages in the live export of animals has a sickness and they lack compassion and empathy. There's a lot of evidence now surrounding animal cruelty and linking it to domestic violence. Live export only accounts for 0.04% of the gross domestic product. The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again. And as Jeff Bezos said, the founder of Amazon, if you never want to be criticised, then for goodness sake, don't do anything new. It's none of our business what anyone else thinks of us. Let's do what's right. Um, and Queenslanders, we will lead the way. Even if it was Queensland, they say, that lost this election, we'll win the way in relation to ending this live export trade. Yeah. And I'll leave you with my favourite quote. Leo Tolstoy, Leonardo da Vinci, Thomas Edison and Pythagoras had concerns about violence towards others. For as long as man continues to be the ruthless destroyer of other living beings, he will never know health or peace. For as long as men massacre animals, they will kill each other. He who sows the seeds of murder and pain cannot reap joy and love. Pythagoras. There is nothing more honourable than working, than working for a greater good for your country and your animals. Thank you very much, everyone. Millions upon millions of victims of this industry. Over three million animals alone a lot exported from Australia each and every year. The Australian government who think they now have a mandate to increase live export because they were re-elected is looking at exporting more live animals to other countries, not only sheep and cows, but other breathing, non-human species they think will make money for their cashed up mates like Gina Reinhardt and Kerry Stokes. These animals include sheep, cattle, dairy, cows, buffalo, goats, horses, donkeys, alpacas, camels, amongst others. So please support the Animal Justice Party. Please support Coast to Coast Animal Friends. Please support Animal Liberation Queensland and all the other offshoots and arms because we need your support. So thank you again. Today, or together we can make the world a better place for all living beings on this planet.